Oh, hi. So you clicked on this video because you want to learn something related to dentistry. Well, you are on the right place. I am Dr. Hina, the voice and soul behind Dr. Teeth. And this is the platform where we make learning interesting and incredibly easy for you. So do leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will recommend you to join channel membership to watch our premium videos. You can also visit our website for online classes, courses, and CQs. So let's get started. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to learn about the enamel. Now, five years ago, I started my YouTube journey with the topic of development of tool. And it changed quite a few lives. One of them was mine and also few of the students who really liked my efforts. Today, I am a master in prosthetic dentistry and I have decided to take this subject as the first one after I have completed my master's. So without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, do let me know in the comment section below. How long have you been associated with my channel? It would really mean a lot to me, okay? So enamel, it is also called as substantia adamantia. Okay, adamantia is a Greek word. Now, what is enamel? Now, if you are new to dentistry, like this is your first year and you have never read this chapter before, you must be wondering what is enamel. So, let me first take up this topic, like what is enamel? Let me try to make you understand. So, enamel in simple words, it is the outermost covering of the tool. So, this yellow covering that you see here, this is the outermost covering. And that is called as the enamel. Okay, here. And if you are not understanding what kind of tooth it is, let me just bring in another tooth. We will do some understandings here. <laughs> what language is it? We will try to understand with the two diagrams. So, this outer covering, this is the enamel, right? This portion of the tooth is outside the mouth. Like you can see it in the mirror and appreciate it. So that is the crown. Okay. We have the portion inside the mouth. Like inside the bone. Okay. So this yellow here represents the bone. So that is the root portion of the tooth. Okay. So tooth has two portion. Right. We have a crown portion and we have a root portion. Okay. So enamel is the outermost covering outermost covering of the crown okay does not go here here in fact we have one layer which is let me change the color this layer this is the cementum okay so this is enamel now this particular picture that you see here this is a cross section of a tooth like this is the tooth we would normally see so the enamel will be covering all the tooth from all the sides. Okay, the crown portion from all the sides. But if you split it into half, okay. So if I bring in a sword and slice the tooth like this from here to here all the way like this. This will be the cross-sectional view. And you can appreciate that inside we have a pulp. Then we have a dentine. This light brown color it is the dentine the covering of the crown is the enamel and the covering of the root is the cementum so now we have a basic understanding of where the enamel is found on the tooth let's quickly jump to few important headings or characteristics of the enamel first of all enamel is a ectodermal derivative it is a mineralized tissue. It is the hardest tissue of the body and it forms once in life. So we all know that the human body, it is formed initially from the three germ layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. So enamel is the ectodermal derivative. It is mineralized tissue. It is highly mineralized. Okay. It has minerals and since 
it has minerals it is very hard okay in fact the hardest and because it is hard it is also brittle so it is also prone to fractures okay and it forms once in a life so enamel once gone it cannot come back no treatment can bring back the enamel we can only substitute it with various materials available in dentistry so obviously we have to take care of it from bacteria caries and all okay so we have covered introductory part one question that must be coming in your mind is even though it is the hardest tissue it is mineralized it has good qualities right but still why is it prone to caries we will answer this as we move to the physical properties of enamel let's have a look let's talk about the physical properties of enamel we'll bring back our beautiful diagram of the tooth and the first physical property we are going to talk about is the permeability what do you understand by the word permeable permeable means it allows the passage of let us suppose we have a filter here and we have few particles let's suppose we have a mixture of particles yellow blue and black but this particular filter only allows the yellow particles to pass through okay from here to here so this particular filter or this barrier i would say is a semi permeable membrane because it is allowing certain particles to come here but it is not allowing certain particles from getting in right so our enamel our enamel is a semi permeable membrane okay various studies have been done and it was found that enamel is a semi permeable membrane it is permeable to some fluids bacteria and their products now since it is permeable to bacteria also that is one of the reason why we were you know discussing that it has chances of having caries right let's jump to other physical property which is the thickness of the enamel so the maximum thickness of enamel is at the cusp region of the tooth okay cusp is the elevation of the you know tooth okay so it goes up to 2.5 mm okay at the cusp and the minimum thickness the minimum thickness is as you can see in this diagram it is clear that it is very thin in this region right here and here that is at the neck portion so this is around 100 microns okay let's talk about the color of the enamel now the color of the enamel it varies from bluish white to yellowish or grayish white so what determines this color variation why are some teeth you know they would appear more bluish white or why some teeth would be yellow you might have seen some of your friends or you know some of your um older people in your house to have yellowish teeth why is that so the reason for the color variation is because of two things the first one is translucency and the second factor is the thickness of the enamel okay so translucency and the thickness of enamel determines what color the tooth will have and translucency in turn is affected by the calcification and homogeneity of the enamel so teeth also have different translucency which is influenced by the calcification and the homogeneity of the enamel because of the crystal organization and rods and all those things we had you know discussed thickness also determines the color because let us suppose we have this particular area here you can see that the enamel here is quite thin right so when the enamel layer is thin and inside we have a yellow colored dentine obviously the color will reflect so thin enamel will have a reflection of the underlying dentine color which will make it appear yellow okay but in cases we have a thick layer of enamel like here we have 2.5 mm you know thickness of enamel so such a teeth will appear more opaque it will be slightly grayish you can say we zoom in to a portion of enamel here
we have various rods okay we have bend rods and these rods these are made up of crystals these are made up of crystals and in between these rods we have spaces okay and the amount of space varies from region to region for example if you're looking at this right now this is the amount of space we're having but if you would have looked at this point the amount of space would have been different okay so enamel has a variable density and also variable hardness it is also one of the reason why dental caries happens in the enamel because we have different arrangement of crystals and it varies from region to region around the tooth now let's move on to another aspect of the physical property which is the specific gravity now the specific gravity of enamel is 2.8 the density of enamel is 2.8 to 3 gram per milliliter. The noop hardness number, I have a video on my channel related to noop hardness number. It is 343 and if you compare it with dentine, dentine has a noop hardness number of 68 and cementum has a noop hardness number of 40. So you can understand how hard enamel is. Also, if you compare the hydroxypatite crystals of the enamel, it is 300 times larger than the hydroxypatite crystals of the dentine. So, with this, we have covered the physical properties of enamel. In the next video, we'll be covering the chemical properties. Now, I'll be covering the entire syllabus of dental histology bit by bit in the coming months. So please keep me motivated by commenting to this video and sharing this video with your friends so that they can also benefit from this. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.